Hi everyone and welcome back to our series on Arduino and in this set of videos we're going to take a look at how you can learn text programming with your Arduino. Remember that a microcontroller involves hardware and software. We can use the software to control hardware and that can be really powerful and we can quickly make changes if needed in the software to get some different results with our hardware. So we're going to take a look at how you can build a really simple flashing circuit using a resistor and an LED and our Arduino board. So this project will build an LED flasher that will turn on an LED for one second and turn it off for one second and then it will continuously do that forever. In text programming, as you'll see in this series, you're going to see that the first thing that we have in a really simple program like this is something called void setup. Void setup is where we need to do things like declare what certain pins are going to do. Are they going to be an input pin? Is it going to be an output pin? So we do that by writing void space setup and then we have bracket bracket and then we have curly brace here, curly brace here and inside we have things like the pin mode command and what pin mode does is it tells the Arduino board that we want pin 13 to be an output. That is how we are going to use it. Next we have the void loop function and the difference between the two is when void setup is executed it's only executed once when the board is powered up. Void loop on the other hand is another function but this function will run continuously over and over and over again as long as the Arduino is powered. So the first thing we do is we write void setup. Next we are going to write a void space loop. We got bracket bracket and again we've got an open curly brace here and a closed curly brace here and then we have our commands inside here. Well this is a really simple circuit so all it's going to do is first it's going to do a digital write command and that's what we use if we want to turn a port on or off. In this case here we want to turn pin or port 13 high and notice we get a semicolon at the end here and then we're going to put a delay command of 1000 and that's 1000 milliseconds. What that will do is it will hold pin 13 high for this amount of time. Notice that we've got a semicolon after that and then we want to turn it off because we want it to flash. So we're going to do a digital write pin 13. We're going to set it low and we're going to hold it there for one second which is a thousand milliseconds. And again notice that we've got semicolons at the end here at the end here. Remember that void loop will continuously run forever so once it's done the first time it keeps going over and over and over again. One common mistake that you have to watch out for is when we write our programs we typically remember that we need to turn something on, in other words set it high, but if we want it to turn off at some point we have to remember to do that. We just can't assume that it will turn off on its own. It will only do what we tell it to do. So don't forget to set things low if they need to go low at some point. So that's it. I highly suggest you open up Tinkercad and try this circuit. See if you can get this to work. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time.